There is a wonderful quote that I often come back to when I find it hard to make sense of life. It is a quote from one of my favourite books, The Lord of the Rings by J.I.R. Tolkien. And one of the main characters, Gandalf the Wizard, says this. Some believe it is only a great power that can hold evil in check. But that is not what I have found. It is the small, everyday deeds of ordinary folk that keep the darkness at bay. Small acts of kindness and love. I find this quote incredibly comforting as it reminds me that we can change the world if only we just keep on spreading joy and kindness amongst those around us. It might feel incredibly naive to some, but I have learned in my 50 and a bit years that if you learn to love and accept life humbly and courageously, with all its ups and downs, life will love you right back. And whatever good you send out into the world will return to you a thousandfold. All you need to do is keep believing in the good in people and defiantly keep on spreading the light. Not in a loud fanfare, but quietly, without ever expecting anything back in return. And your small acts of kindness will keep the darkness away. Winter has arrived. Yeah, that's cool, I think. What do you think? Have them a bit lower, I don't know, go can't across. Can't have them low, can them higher? Oh no, I don't want them higher. Yeah. Sure. We've um, discovered the bag of curtains, so I washed them this morning. And then luckily our supermarket um, is very well stocked and they even have stuff like curtain rails and that. So we've just gone to get one. We're going to put some curtains up because that'll stop a lot of the echo and all of a sudden just make it look a little bit more homely. I've been looking for another pair of curtains everywhere. I couldn't find it and then I realised, oh, I sold them. So um, to our excellent lady so i'm not going to find them but these will do really nicely because they'll go with their natural steam and yeah they're all good with the clocks going back the nights have been drawing in quickly now and it's been getting much colder at night too so we have a real urge to nest and get ready for winter we will receive our furniture order soon, which will make the living room so much cosier too. And we've ordered a wood burner. For the moment, we will just fit it into the chimney breast as it is, and then decide next summer what we will do. Leave it as it is, or take the whole thing out. But for the moment, it's really important that we can keep warm and cosy on the cold and rainy days of winter. Oh my, the faff to get the curtains right. Anyway, happy down there. I think that's all right. 
Just dress this a room straight away. That's a good shout, Science. Let's put the heights on there. I don't like the squares. The see. Oh. I know, uh, just for it to. I don't think you can get it through, can you? Away. Yay! Perfect. Just little hearts. Full of ideas, mate. Simon and I are always amazed at how much dust gathers in our house. It is no wonder with the amount of building work that's going on and the dust and sand that two humans and two dogs drag in from out of the garden. So at the moment we have to first sweep up the worst of it and then we hoover through afterwards. It feels like we have a never-ending list of tasks and things that need doing and it's easy to lose focus and get into overwhelm. It's those moments that we have to remind ourselves that we came back to Greece for a reason and that is to slow down and live a gentle life. And we have to give ourselves permission to call it a day and go for a walk in nature instead when we're tired. With the changing of the seasons from summer to autumn, I am once again reminded of the Zen saying, nature never hurries, yet all is accomplished. And whilst I walk through the groves, I try to absorb the beauty of it all, and I realize that there's no need to press ourselves so hard. It will all get done, step by step, day by day, in its own time. stones Simon and I are doing the morning shift at the Catafigio today um, and we've been for a nice walk now the dogs are eating we're just going to clean up and that's us for the morning then here's the lovely Sadie lovely Sadie Sadie's been here a long time together with Boo Boo they're not easy um, to find a home for because they are ex-working dogs and they just need a huge space and a little job like guarding or herding um, and they would be super happy so we need someone with about four stremmer so four thousand square meters who's got a big fenced up garden for these two it would be so nice to have a home for these but yeah just one of those things it's been very hard to get them a forever home but whoever gets them is gonna love them and boo boo he was so scared of people in the beginning that it was a bit of a mare with him, but he's learned to trust us and even walks on the lead now, so he's done so much. Bina is very, very shy. And um, she needs a bit of extra TLC like now. She's too shy to defend her food, so sometimes we hold it for her, so she gets her full load. Yeah. So it's really rewarding to this to do this kind of work. Um, it's how you can pay back. You know, we've got an amazing life. And looking after those who can't speak for themselves or can't look after themselves because they're abandoned or hurt, it's just a way to give back.
Whilst I am up there playing with plants in the sunshine, Simon is doing what he's really good at, actually, bless him. And it's, it's something that I'm hopeless at, bless him. <laughs> Which is clearing and cleaning and sorting and putting order into things. So he's been in the um, in the Kamara and he's been going through all our stuff and all the stuff that was kind of left here and is sorting things out. Have a look. So there's... All that. <clears throat> this was full, actually. I wanted to, I did actually want to video it earlier and I didn't, but this was a mess. This was a complete mess. You couldn't see the floor for nothing. We just kind of dumped everything when we moved in and nothing had been done after that. So Simon's been really good and cleared all that and is going through stuff. And then we're sorting out what can go, what can't go. And the other thing that he's done is um, he's actually cleared this space because that was full of well, olive twigs, actually, and other sorts. So he's cleaned that up and um, we can use this space at some point for storage once we've actually put a concrete floor in there and made it even and pointed it up. So that's another good job done. Bless him. <laughs> Duh. Another thing that's happening right now. <laughs> One of those days. Um, our new washing machine has arrived so I've just had the phone call so we're just on the way to the Taverna and go pick it up. Our old washing machine that was here already is very old, very uneconomical and very not good at washing anymore so it was really time to get a new one. And there's Simon just coming along now. <laughs> there we go, same problem as always, dragging it up. But we are getting professionals at this. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It never gets any easier, even though we do this so many times. How much was this? 56 kilos? Sorry, 65 kilos? 63, 65 kilos. So, yeah. Yeah, so. There we go. 65. Oh, did it though. Well done. It's the thing between us, or the, I think that's what it is with us. We somehow always manage it together because we're just a well played team, so it works well. <sighs> anyway, washing machine to go into the hole. Hurrah! That'll be wonderful. So that's going to go in there. And then, whoops, then we can take that monstrosity out of the um, the bathroom and we have more space in the bathroom as well. So it's, a, it's an all round win-win. So and whilst we're recovering from that, I've just made some simple jacket potatoes. A bit steamy. There we go, so they're done. And I am just reheating a beautiful lentil stew that Simon made yesterday It'll be our lunch we've earned it today so yes there we go oh it's got rapid 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 anyway I think that'll look nice in the kitchen it's a kind of dark anthracite colour it's for stupid people I didn't see this is the thing when you're ordering online you don't really see what's going off but I think it's kind of self-explanatory. Better than Greek, actually. 14, 30, 44. Speed drive, quick, blah, blah, blah. Cool. So that's what we used to do on the other one. Yeah, so there we go. Excellent. We're giving the washing machine the first spin. And I think it's pretty good. There we go. It's a going. And that's it for this week, sweet people. I hope you enjoyed this episode, despite my snotty voice. And I wish you a wonderful week ahead. And if you are new here and you really enjoyed this video, we would so love you to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And hopefully we will see each other again next week. Until then, take good care. With love, Simon and Bee.